Now I hear that you have quite an interesting hobby. Well, it's certainly interesting to me, and I think what you're um, alluding to is my interest in visiting World Heritage Sites. Uh, yes, it is interesting. Yes, it concerns me. Uh, it gives me great pleasure, great satisfaction to visit as many World Heritage Sites as I can. For those who don't know what World Heritage Sites are, could you explain a little bit about them? Yes, the idea arose in the late 1970s um, after something which uh, you won't remember, but um, the statues at Abu Simbel in Egypt were threatened by flooding as a, the waters of a new dam, what has become known as Lake Nasser, rose and rose and rose. And the international community got together and said, we've got to do something about this. It's not reasonable to expect a poor country like Egypt to save these on its own when they will be seen principally, most frequently, by people from the richer world. So an international effort was mounted and that gave rise to the idea of world heritage sites. They're there for everybody to enjoy, but everybody has a responsibility to look after them as well. What is it that interests you about World Heritage Sites? Well, before I retired from work, I was a town planner, so all, all my working life. So perhaps that tells you that I've got an interest in architecture, in town planning, um, in urban design, that kind of thing. More than three quarters of the um, World Heritage Sites are so-called cultural sites, which means they're made by man. So naturally that kind of thing has always been an interest to see the most beautiful buildings, the most beautiful cities, um, novel cities, novel ideas in town planning, historic ideas in town planning, that kind of thing interests me greatly. The other quarter of the sites are so-called natural sites and they tend to be wonderful national parks, many of which everybody has heard of, like the Grand Canyon. Who wouldn't want to go to places like the Grand Canyon or some of the great parks in uh, the Rocky Mountains, let's say, or in South America, or anywhere in the world for that matter. There are national parks everywhere, and a number of them are World Heritage Sites. What first got you interested in World Heritage Sites? I remember that specifically. Um, in the mid-80s sometime, uh, uh, mid-80s sometime, uh, I was in Madagascar with my then girlfriend, now wife, Frida, and in a place that wasn't then and isn't now, I don't think, a World Heritage Site, pinned up on the back of a door was a map of the world. I'm a sucker for maps. I looked at the maps and I saw that it was studded with these things called World Heritage Sites. I'd not heard of them before. There was sufficient information on the map to explain briefly what they were, and I thought, that's for me. When I retire, which I'd always planned to do at the earliest opportunity, when I retire, I'm going to go and see all the World Heritage Sites that there are. According to the UNESCO website, there are about 950 sites at the moment. How many do you think you have visited? Um, approximately 650, um, which means that there are still 300 that I haven't seen. And that's actually more now that I haven't seen than there were when I started, because of course the number goes up um, every year. The number increases or is increased. And so I've still got uh, quite a lot ahead of me, enough to keep me occupied, that's for sure. So have you actually visited the most out of anyone else in the world? I used to say that with absolute certainty, that I had visited more than anybody else or at least anybody else who was vain enough to put his achievement up on a website. Um, I'm not sure now. There's a man in California who claims to have uh, visited more. I'll overtake him soon. Again, I'll be number one, yeah. Where are you planning to go next? Um, my next World Heritage Site trip is to China. Um, uh, late March next year I will set off. Um, for about a month, mostly in the southwest, 
as you can guess, a country as big and as diverse as China has got quite a lot of World Heritage Sites, more than 30 I'd say, um, and there's always something new and different to see. So that's the next trip, China in March. Thank you very much. I hope that goes well.